be so too. Because we're very, very psychic. We have high IQs and our intuitions are fucking infallible. And they leech off of that. They take us as kids. Even if you don't remember, they take us in our sleep. And they, they utilize our gifts for their gain. Well, you know, Megan, I, um, I don't, I don't know if I would No, I have not gone into a lot of detail, but you know, my aggravation with the group move on. Um, if you don't, um, I had an episode, I had an event that occurred when I was about, in fact, I remember cause Hallie's comment was around at the time. So what, what was that? 86, something like that. Um, yeah. Like you that remember, was, right? On. Yeah. 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 Rub it in, <laughs> yeah. rub it in. I love you. <laughs> rub it in but um but i had an event and i i had really repressed and 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 i wasn't the only one my mom um also witnessed this thing and um but my memory was completely different from hers and um i had been haunted by this thing that occurred and um it didn't get triggered again until i was in my late Oh, late, mid mid to late thirties, I guess, because I'm 110. I'm a, <laughs> uh, uh, no, maybe 800, something like that. 800 years, I think, is a general consensus. But um, the um, it got triggered because I I I was just happened to be sitting there one day, just you know, going about a regular routine, and I can't remember it was a lamp or something that was above me and to the right, but it had this particular shape of something. And uh, that I thought I well I'd kind of forgotten, and um, it was a very detailed event up until a certain point. And this the director, the state director, Kentucky State Director of MUFON at the time, had been prodding me for a long time to reveal this event. And I broke a lot of barriers, and I wrote what happened. And when I emailed it to him, he suddenly dis- disappeared. He wouldn't even talk to me again. And because it was so, I mean, honestly, it was a very movie-like scenario. You know what I mean? Yes, that happens quite often. That's happened with me a couple times, actually. I was in uh, communication with Max Spears. A lot of people in the community know who that is. Um, He just recently got killed off. And uh, out of nowhere, he up and disappeared. I started talking to him about the black goo. The black goo. Sh- yes, yes. I started talking to him about the black goo, and he fucking disappeared quick. Because I know, showed him pictures of invading the national forest and splitting like it's eating the trees. It's it it's 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 insane how little we actually know, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Loaded question there. Loaded. Yes, I know. Um, I was going to show you there was a uh, there was a video that was at Live Leak, and it was this girl, and it said she was so drunk that she was she was vomiting, just black. And I'm like, okay, it doesn't mm. matter how drunk you get, you are not going to throw up anything that is purely black. And the video cuts no, off. The only way that you could medically throw up or um, shit black stuff is if you are bleeding from your stomach. And you know I have done that extensively, sweetie. And that is not even inky black. That is dotted black. Well, you know, with mine, um, you know, they, they told me I have a a strange thing going on with the pancreas that is uh, at last uh, 40-something percent uh, necrotic – Yet at the same time, it's regenerating, and the mm-hmm. the end result is that um, I mean there was a week I coded seven times. Um, no, I'm sorry, three times in seven days, and uh, because I'm bleeding out entirely too fast and having a a negative blood type on hand, which AB negative is is supposed to be the most rare the of, rare. of the negatives. And so they yeah. stuck they stuck me on medication, painkillers, because the pain was absolutely Im- immense. And then they just kind of left me. 
you know? I mean, I've been in cancer centers from here to Cincinnati and back and forth. And my, my stuff was circulated to at, at, at Harvard University's, uh, uh, University, uh, ones in France, Japan, and all over the world. And no one has an answer about how your pancreas can be dying and growing at the same time. And, but there was an immense amount of, of blackness, massive bleeding. And, I, you know, I still have absolutely no answer. And this was six years ago that this started. Yes, and I'll tell you from my medical perspective, pancreatic cancer is not something that people come back from. And it is not something that people survive either. The mortality rate is very high for that. Well, my, because by the time they realize they have a problem, it's done metastasized to the liver. Well, my um, episode, I actually, for the last three years, I've been told repeatedly that I, uh, I mean, I was given a time that, that I should, you know, an expiration date, so to speak. And that was, that was three years ago. And honestly, I actually stopped taking everything that they prescribe, e even the blood pressure medicine. I stopped taking everything and I've never actually felt any better I mean, I feel more like 20 now than I did when I was 20. Oh, yeah, that shit will kill you. It's so bad for you. It's uh, it's funny how we get from hollow earth to RH negatives. It's funny. Um, <laughs> I told you we should just get on here and banter, Jimmy. They'll learn. Well, it's obviously that's just the best way to go, I guess, because uh, <laughs> there's entirely too much. You are you're the Vault Seven. You you're um <laughs> you you're the world of, of information that um and you know we had a little setback, <clears throat> didn't we? Because and you're talking about the programmers. There was someone whose job it was to uh be your um or attempt to be Hello? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what did she do? She and by the time I got to you who is the world of information, uh, a thousand red flags went up because you began repeating things that this, well, I don't know, what would be a good adjective to describe her? MK Ultra Beta. <laughs> like sex kitten programming. This girl had taken my entire identity mm -hmm. and she was going out to other starseeds, people that I have not even met yet. And it, buddying up with them, distracting them, and doing very... Uh, I don't know how to describe the shit that she pulled, Jimmy. Can you? Very no. toxic. Well, from from my point of view, the, the world... The, because she used a particular word. I'm going to ask you if it means anything to you. Um, super soldier. Does that <laughs> okay? We won't go there. Yeah. That's fine. We won't go no, there. No, we can. We can. We can. Well, you tell me, um, because see, that was one of the words that she said. That uh, that it's, yeah, yeah. It brought up the first red yeah, flag. Yeah, she said that she flag. thought that she was a super soldier and she didn't know who your who her dad was. Meanwhile, she was with me, and I'm learning about myself, and I'm like, holy shit, super soldier! What the fuck is this? What is going on here? Um, what about my family, this, my mom and dad, this, and then that's when I started to find out that I was in programs and stuff. And I would go and I would talk to this girl that I thought was my friend about everything. And I don't do that often. That's right. But I did. And, and, she, and she went running with my story. Like it was hers. And then I meet Jimmy who had previously had no, had a fallen out over Manuela. This is the girl's name. Sorry. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> <laughs> you, you know she's a she's a follower on Spreaker, you know, and I can't I can't block her until she makes a comment on a show. I hope she's listening. <laughs> that is so petty of me and so unspiritual, but I do not like this woman and what she pulled. I had to clean up some of her mess, and a mess she did make. Well, it's um, uh, yeah, that was a mess. Yes. She started talking about Max, too. She was around when I found out Max got killed. When all that news came out and they were calling him a UFO researcher and all that. And I, she's like, Who, who's Max? So I gave her the links and she went, 
Yeah, I don't like explaining things to people. Go learn it yourself. Here's the link. Um, uh, how ironic. I'm on a radio show right now explaining this to y'all. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> but yeah, she took it and she ran with it. And I met these people and nobody, for a while, people were very wary of me because of her. Mm -hmm. She had went to them and said the same exact things. She never even had eye surgery. And I was, I was talking about how there was a lot of people like me who have had these particular eye surgeries. She's going around saying, there's a lot of us. There's a lot of us. All I had to do is say it to her one time. Yeah, well, and she was like a parent for everything. That is exactly what she told me because I said to her that at age five, I had this particular eye surgery. And even though technically the reason was never explained to me, the end result is that what I was told was that um, I was playing football in the house and um, I hit my head and my eyes went cross and I had to go have surgery to have that fixed and they clipped a nerve so that my eyes weren't drawn in together and the end result as I got older is, well, you know what happened. It's like Steve Buscemi, right? So now, <laughs> now they, they, you know, but, but it has its benefits because I almost have a compl I, I have 175 plus peripheral vision. I have the most, I mean, complete dead center right and left. I can see perfectly, and and they can work independently too if they want. They both can have data input. I can literally be driving with my left eye, and my right eye can be on the rearview mirror, and I can and I can articulate what's going on independently. You know, oh well, like a lizard, I guess, right? I mean, you see, yeah, yeah, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> hey, at least you have vision in both your eyes. I can only see out of one. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, I can only see out of one. And I had three surgeries. And so under hypnosis, I found out that it's maybe technology. Because when I'm going and doing my missions, the eyes activated. And what do you think... When the eye is activated, do, would you, when you say missions, won't you expand on missions? Well, when I started talking about they abducted the RH negative kids, it's because a lot of these RH negative kids have been turned into super soldiers. They have been groomed into being super soldiers. Um, so you will go and do missions. Like, for example, my missions are a whole lot of fucking recon and a whole lot of assassination. And, um, what I mean by re recon is I'll be dropped in a place and I'll have to run through this, this place and get sights of everything. Like they're using me as their eyes. Oh, uh, like you're the, like you're a living Pokemon game. Sort of. Yes. It's kind of like I'm an avatar that, um, that's a robot that everybody, I, it's, it's so hard to explain. It really is. But. Well, you know, and the reason I say it's like that Pokemon go is because People are going around and they're chasing, they're chasing these these cartoon characters, and and they're snapping these pictures. When you know the guy that that was the head of what Nintendo, he got some kind of awards from the uh, our government for some uh, covert software he built back in the eighties or something. And mm -hmm. so people, we bought our own recon devices and so anybody says okay here's pokemon go oh my god it's the it's the fad you gotta go play and all you're doing is you're going around snapping pictures of everything that maybe google earth can't get you know oh shit or your location your location and 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 as claude and i were actually no i was on the phone while i was talking to jesse ventura because get this um even after the show uh no that was george nori even after the show and my call went through and the show was over, Jesse Ventura called my phone back and we talked oh. for about half an hour about this. And what we talked about was um, he said, you know, if if um, they're looking for a suspect and all of a sudden everybody's Pokemon Go says, oh, well, you need to get down to Starbucks area because, wow, there's rumor of Pikachu. And so they go down there, and they're all snapping pictures of Starbucks. Because and then, they, boom, false they, flag. 
Yeah, they have intel, but that someone they're looking for or need facial recognition 